So in this clip I'm going to show you how to do some of the cleaning for the student survey Excel sheet. This is a very common problem when you get data from wherever you enter your survey data into you will have to do some cleaning sometimes because of the software and we'll see occasions here but also sometimes because of inconsistencies in the way how data are entered and we will see that as well so I have a file which is available to you in Blackboard what sort of tasks have to be have to be done um, delete for instance here in all columns there are some fields which are labeled as unanswered and we'll just want to have these fields as empty so the, an easy way to do that is the following what you can see here is just a little excerpt of the file which you have and actually it turns out in this case there are non, no unanswered fields but if you highlight everything go to find and select and replace we will use that a lot and type in what you want to replace unanswered for instance and replace with leave that just empty and say and click replace all it will replace everything now in this case it didn't find any unanswered but in your full data sheet you will find some but let's use this technique for something else for instance one of the things which needs to be done is the following question 4 that's the time uh, time to uni question. You can see here there are answers, sometimes numerical answers, sometimes 10 minutes. So we want to get rid of all this minutes uh, stuff. Okay, and then there's another issue we have here with 5 to 10. So that is, uh, where is it, this task here. Okay, so you want to replace minutes. Now we only have one minute and you could easily go in this cell and just delete you know minutes but if you have more than 700 responses you don't want to do that you want to automate that so we copy minutes and use the replace automatically again paste minutes in here you can type it in again leave the replace with field empty so replace all and you can see we have made automatic replacements so you can see there's another uh, full stop here so perhaps let's also replace the full stop and replace all and it only found that one full stop now when you do this replacement you have to think carefully of which column to highlight okay now we don't expect any other minutes here anywhere so we could safely highlight something here but sometimes it's the case that you want to get rid of something in one column which is perfectly valid entry in another in that case when you do the find select and replace with you should only have highlighted the column in which you want to do replacements so then there's also the issue of here for instance this type of answer I said here for instance replace 5 to 10 with 8 which is the just the rounded average the average would be seven and a half in here but we round that to eight so that unfortunately you'll have to do manually so you have to go your file and see which type of answers there are well there are a few five to ten minutes you could replace them automatically but there are other types of entries that need to be dealt with in that way so let me see what else do I want to talk about yes then in the postcode uh, there are some issues let's see where it is for instance some people have answered full postcodes and I want you to delete the last three digits that, this is an example but again you will have to go through uh, this column and ensure that you only have the or the first set of the coast postcode in this case it's actually four digits so this again this is this is an issue of the data entries okay if everyone had been very disciplined and only collecting the first part of the postcode and entering it this wouldn't be a problem but it never happens okay it never happens that everyone does exactly the right thing and you need to check it uh, so we don't have any of these cases in this little example so you can see here we have a, a country and that will be there's another country and that's fine 
that's what we asked for. Okay, there are sometimes non characters which are, don't really belong here and you have to just scan for these or look for these and for instance I found this one so that needs to be replaced with M12 so now the, the most difficult thing I want to talk about soon that's converting non-numerical values to numerical ones but one more thing I, I deliberately uh, have in this little excerpt I have these last five columns. All these five entries were made by the same student and you can see they're all exactly the same apart from one is different here to question six and we have uh, just slightly different answers here for the first response here. These last four responses are all exactly the same. Now, without proof, my suspicion is that student hasn't asked five different people and has just entered the same response four times. Again, another uh, problem you have as the survey organizer if there is an incentive for a uh, survey worker to just uh, complete many answers, you may get wrong answers. And that's, of course, exactly what I did. I gave you an incentive to give five answers. Now in this case we will leave these in, okay? even though I'm pretty sure, and this is not the only case, uh, I've, I've seen a few others, that there are some fake responses. And that's not the only, not everyone who just entered responses without actually collecting them will have entered just exactly the same thing. Some can, will have entered just random, uh, random entries without asking and that's more difficult to detect although there may be ways to do that as well but I won't talk about them here so the last thing I want to talk about is the following we want all of these here should be numbers because we want to treat them and uh, evaluate them calculate statistics with them now let's just see whether they are numbers so let's do a little calculation so I'll just take that first entry and I multiply it with 2. That's a nonsensical calculation where I want to see whether it works. If I do that, I get an error message value. Okay, and the reason is that this number isn't really recognized by Excel as a number. Now, why is that so? The reason is that there is some, if you go into the field, you can see there is some, something in front of the 2, some characters, space type characters, which are in there. That prevent Excel from recognizing this as a number. And if I, if I copy this cell, you can see that this is basically the case with all the numbers, okay? apart from these here. For some reason, these are recognized as numbers. Now, to be frank, I think that's an issue with Blackboard, okay? the way how it exports the data, although I don't understand why sometimes it reads as a number and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, sometimes you will not understand what's going on, but we will we yet have to deal with it. The same issue, in fact, we have here with the travel time information. Okay, times 2, for instance. That is a value again. Okay, so it may be that you or the students have added these extra characters or that for some reason Blackboard reports it like this. So how do we deal with this? We have to get rid of these extra characters easiest way to do that is again to use the replace command. Highlight these extra characters, go in the cell before the 60, we highlight what we have in front, we copy Control c so now we highlight for instance that column, we go to replace, I paste what I just copied in here so it looks like there's nothing but there's space empty characters, the replace with field has to remain empty now I click replace all and it has removed this one. Now clearly what was in front of the 60 wasn't exactly what was in front of the other numbers. So let's go to the 40 and do exactly the same. We highlight, we go to replace, we paste that in here, replace all and you've seen what was in front of the 40 was actually what was in front of most of these data. So let's see whether we can now do calculations. Go here, times 
two again and it works okay so now Excel is recognizing all of these numbers as an uh, actual numbers so that's great now we have to do exactly the same over here okay for these columns we haven't addressed that yet again we go in front of the two copy where make sure you replace everything you had before Add has made 10 replacements now I should really highlight the whole column and I'll do the same again but it hasn't worked so something was actually special for that first entry so I go to the second entry I highlight and copy control C I paste that in here control V I highlight all these cells replace all and has made all these replacements and again I shall try whether I can do some calculations with this yes okay so now I have just real Excel now recognizes all of this as numbers so this is all honky-dory excellent okay then I want to I quickly switch to my file which I have already prepared so everything is fine you also want to make sure that all the numbers are valid entries i.e. entries between 1 and 10 an easy way how you could do that is actually you could type a command equals I should make this just a little bigger okay we should could just see max and then go to highlight the entire column k2 to k720 and see what the maximum value is and the maximum value is 11 now you know 11 we shouldn't have so we need to find where value 11 is perhaps as a numerical way of doing that but you can also do that you go within go to insert and you can see the 11 value it's somewhere at around 150 okay so we'll go to 150 here we see 11 and we'll replace that with a 1 my suspicion is that this was meant to be a 1 you can actually see this response is a pretty suspicious response as well all questions are answered with a 1 so again I suspect that response comes from a student which hasn't really asked someone but just entered shame on you anyway we don't really have the capacity here to read out these responses we just replace this with a 1 so that's all I wanted to show that should set you on the way to clean your data file and then be able to work with it